Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsloe Dale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we are going to be exploring the new DLC which is Financial Districts. Long anticipated in this series because if you've been following the live streams we have made our own version of the Isle of Dogs slash Canary Wharf coming in. It's all very inspired by and if I flick it out from the top you can kind of see it if you go pause the video and compare it to a Google map of the place. Now, let's get into our first looks at this DLC. I'm quite excited about this because, you know, we've done all the road layout and everything, but the thing is we don't actually know how big any of the buildings are or anything like that. We just know that the DLC is here. So it's in new unique buildings. You need to get your stock exchange first off. And here we go. Glorious. Uh, we want it. We want it in the middle here. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, that works. It fits. It fits nice and snug. Get in. What about that way? Nope. Oh, it does. It does fit over there, but that looks a bit odd. Feels. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. That, that captures the whole of the financial district there, and so does that, actually. That actually catches a little bit more than the other bit. Oh, but then we've got another tower to come in later on, so that could play a more pivotal part. Yeah, no, we're going to go here. But we are going to spin it around in just one second. And here we go. We're going to spin this around. Okay, now the challenge of this is to invest your money and um, right, invest gains until the next level 50 so we have to like manage our investments now investments are in the money tab and they're just next to the loans oh well that's that's critically gone up now there are, there, there's really dark things that you could do here really to be honest like you could uh, swatch your switch the sewer pipe around and you know do stuff like that it's the very legit company Perfectly legal and not so shady at all. Hmm. Chirpy cruises. That's a big. That's a big one. We should have bought. Buy now. Buy now. All of it. Down. I don't know why I just did. Four million in chirpy cruises. Okay. Already made. Yes. Sell. Boom. We just made a profit. See that? That's capitalism right there. I'm not really sure what I did, but that was capitalism. One hundred. Did we just, yes, we did, upgrade. Boom, level two, we got a bronze cow, which is the play of the uh, New York Stock Exchange bronze cow. Uh, we've got small banks that's gonna open up as well, wonderful. <gasps> we're gonna have to manage 250 to get there. Let's go, let's do this, let's put in something stable. That's stable, farming, get it, boom. Oh, it was a bit iffy. Yeah, go on then, yeah, go on. Small stake. Should we go for another sweepstake in the cruises? See if there's been another another dip. Can we buy another dip? Oh, could have made a profit if we put it out then. I don't know what this is actually. I think at the moment you could theoretically put a large amount of money into something like the forest industry and then go do it up and then wait for all that data to come back better. But then if everything goes downhill, what is this? Let's have a look at all the options. Okay, so this is the, or right, let's have a look. Let's just find some weird ones in here. Chirp Air, that's obviously the airport, pretty stable in this economy. Uh, Defcare services, pretty stable, unless there's that big old blip there. Farming, pretty stable. Gasoline, pretty stable. Okay. Generic industry, that's not going to change much. Now, healthcare services need a doctor. That's different to death care, isn't it? Yes, it's different to death care. So, healthcare is, you know, just the same. I mean, most people are pretty healthy in the city. Uh, oil industry, that's kind of high. Cool. Uh, yep, the oil industry. Chirp cruises. Oh, it's down from its high. 
Is that it? Once we, oh, we can only have one like stakeholder at a time. Okay. Okay, so now we get to the more interesting ones. Traffic jelly logistics. Logistics are the basic need of every city. We deliver everything wherever. With great traffic flow comes great profits. So hop on board. Traffic jelly logistics today. Very legit company. We went over that. That's a shady company. Go on. Shady. We'll get, we'll get some shady business going. Don't feel good about that one. So let's see. What else could we just have a massive... Has anything taken a massive... That's taken a massive swing. Yes, buy. Buy all the oil. Okay, so we're not actually... We're just taking actual mega swing states. Oh, buy, buy low, sell lot. Yep, go for it. And if we cash out these two now, then we should have completed our gains. <gasps> 40,000. Yes, gains. 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 All gains. There you go. That's how you do it. You just hold and wait for a good time to come through. Let's see. So we made over 50,000. Boom. Gone up. And... This is actually pretty okay. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty pretty hard to do without you know actually investing in a service or waiting for a massive. <gasps> we got crypto. Do you want to put that on a chirp coin? Oh, we cashed out at the right time there, didn't we? This is going to go lower, go lower. This is literally like buying and selling. And that. Because, <laughs> you know, the... Oh, yes. Buy, buy, buy all of all of, all of the stock. Because you can't put, like, stop losses and gains on these things. Also, the wrong problem with this game was never that you you, you were making too little money. Like, I would love to know what these charts are based on, but now it's just like it's like. Oh, they've had a massive upswing. And downswing. A little bit more of a downswing, please. So, like, could we tank an industry? Buy a load of shares. Here we go. Could we, yeah, could we tank an industry, buy a load of shares, and then by tank an industry, I mean, let's, let's, let's sabotage all. Let's turn off all the ore works. Let's just say there's a massive strike in ore. There we go. Everyone's going on strike. Just like in modern day England, the whole of the ore industry is now going on strike. There you go, turn you all off. You know, no raw materials. I'm just gonna turn all these factories and things off, all the storage units. Just big ore is going to sleep. Now this should have an effect on that chart. I mean, it's corrupt AF, don't get me wrong. But surely we could just turn all of these off, invest a huge amount of money, turn it all back on, and the price goes up. Make sure it's on three speed so we have most effect. OK, I've got a great idea. There we go. There we go. Back to the Wall Street. Manage my investments. Where's the ore? Ore. Here we go. Ore should be in the ground right now. It is. Buy up all the shares. Price 81, 82,000. Done. How much did we buy? Current value, nothing. We bought 1,000 shares. Okay. Let's go turn everything on again.
I mean, this is just like put money glitches in the game, surely now. This is just not too fun if this is going to happen. I mean, hilarious, because it's just like simple, very simple stock market manipulation and blatant stock market manipulation <laughs> that you would instantly go to jail for. Okay, we're done. We're turned. Yep, that is everything turned back on. Let's go, let's go back into the investments. We've made 2.6 million. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that pump and, well, there's no dump, but like, well, now it's time to dump. Original value, 81,000 pound. Current value, do we, do we sell? Pretty substantial. Yeah, go for it. Boom. Upgrade to next level. Yes, level four, done. Can we upgrade? Oh, yeah, look, I upgrade to, yeah, there we go. Boom, Max, we got everything. <laughs> oh, that's why I went to UCL. That's, there you go. There's my business management degree coming in handy right there. <laughs> Finally. Okay, let's have a look at our ill-gotten gains for today. Let's have a look. As soon as we've uh, just broken the DLC within like 20 minutes. <gasps> no. Come on, that'd be sick. How far back? Are we one out? We're one out from that being there. Okay, what about... Again, one out from it being there. Okay. It's not, it's not too horrific. It fits there though, so that's good. And it's the same size and distance. I like that, that's good. Okay, now this other big building is the International Trade Building. Now that also sets off taxes. Now if that covers that area, is there a money, there is a money thing. Oh, there's no power, okay. We ought to give it some power. Right, what about now? Yes, now it's got power. There we go. Okay, so that's a good, good range on the taxes there. International Trade Building. Now these don't have to be near each other, do they? Oh, so it's only finance district office buildings pay more in taxes. So, okay, that's pretty lush. That will that'll capture all of them. And then I think, yeah, down here, just opposite. Can we have it somewhere? That makes sense in the grand scheme of the build, it coming off here. To be honest, I don't actually mind it not capturing too much. No, because I no, I want them all in the city area. Like I don't mind if it's not. Like, did we just do it again? Did we just? Oh my, I promise you, I did no. I didn't do any screen grabs or shots or worked it out or anything or looked online. Literally, just by just by just yeah. Just by the power of the eye, did that. Wonderful. Now let's bring in some more buildings and plazas. Now this. Oh, these are tiny. These are tiny little specks. We should put these uh, around the area somewhere. So they're like little hidden gems. That you come out and you have to try and find. So what is this? This is the bull, the bronze bull. This is obviously a mick take of the cow. If we put one one side, and then we come over and we put it on the other side. Actually, I quite like the idea of 
Yeah, let's place, place them down by the... Yeah, spread them out. Spread them out. Spread the love. Actually, no, that one can stay there. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good idea. I like that. It's a shame that that's not even. Quite like if that were... Because they are like little delicate elements. Does that fit in well there? That does, doesn't it? then I do like my trains going through big buildings. So, oh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to compromise. I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to go here. But original thought, just across from the, the trading uh, empire, we're going to put that one there. There you go. So we used all the unique buildings because we are master of trade slash business use knowledge. So how you put uh, the financial office buildings in is you click on the thing here, then the specialization, and you click the specialization here, and done. Anything that's now an office building in this zone will now become uh, basically a finance building. So how big buildings. Let's also mix it up a bit by bringing not huge amounts of big buildings in. Try and get some equality, but let's bring in the yes. Let's bring in some of the, some of these big bad boys. Oh, that is perfect. There, could not think of a better. Let's get that nice and close. There you go, perfect. See, I'm going to try and blend these in with the uh, the more not custom objects. Because that's what Canary Wharf's all about. It's like these whopping great big skyscrapers. Yes, like that would definitely fit in. That's going to destroy my lovely path if we put it along there. I mean, is that the biggest it gets? Oh, it does. That, that's it now. Congratulations. Was uh was uh, that's mm, in the iffy company. Oh, it's traffic logistics. Let's sell. Let's sell our stake. There you go. Let's sell. Let's get out. Let's get out of the investment game now. We've made our monies. <laughs> we were ridiculously good at making monies. So yeah, let's bring in some more of these office buildings. I mean, I'm going to guess they're all four by four. Oh, okay. So it sticks to the road like that. Okay, right. So we need to find good places like this to put. I mean, that's pretty spam. But it's slightly smaller than the others. So we could slip it somewhere outside here. Because there's somewhere a little bit more convenient. Oh, that's a big square behemoth. I want to keep the very big buildings over here. How has this not got power? Do not understand that one. Actually, I don't. I don't want him at the front. I want to move him at the back. To be fair, behind our uh, investment stock market. Oh no, we can't because of the subway system. About the side. Oh, side could work. Cool. Okay, we're starting to get a big, big, big picture of the big. I think we're just gonna have these like little. Uh, these financial buildings are not really growing up enough, in my opinion. They they need to they need to like fix up, fly fly a bit more sharp. Come on. You're kind of being dwarfed by your, your custom-made counterparts. This would definitely be something you'd see. You would not bat an eyelid if you saw that. Just around the corner somewhere. Generic office tower, yes. But let's push you a little bit further back and out. Oh, I like you there. Right, why is this power not jumping? That's really annoying me. 
I think a thumbs up park could belong in the financial district. Why not? You know, leads onto the water, backs onto the water there. That seems uh, reasonable enough. Oh, that should connect the, yep, there we go, perfect. Oh, no one's thought about how to get the electricity over here, okay. Oh, this now we're now in the Korean alley, okay, right, cool. Let's use a smaller tower over here. Let's fill in, fill in a bit more, fill in a bit more of the, uh, just the standard DLC. There's something big at the back there. I know what we could do, that would be fun, potentially. Let's move that there. Is that in the middle? Is it? Is it even? Oh, it's not even, is it? It's, it's got three on one side, two on the other. Oh well. It's fine. It's okay, it will do. The fact that you could just walk out onto that promenade. What about having this one behind it now? No, definitely not. That does not look look good in any way, shape, or form. Let's move that back, please. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if I'm going a bit too excess with the uh, old buildings. I don't think I have at all just yet. I feel like we need some more smaller ones. That's a perfect fit in there. We're kind of hoping for more of these buildings to seep through. Doesn't seem like it's happening. I'm gonna allow myself to build some kind of park there, I think. Definitely gotta be an alleyway going through there. I feel like two big buildings there. There we go, that's nice and even. Oh, there's tons of people coming to this uh, little heart center, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Is there any tinier bit? Oh, there's a tinier, tinier version of that. Cool. And that can come over here. Nice. So then that like works our way into the height difference. Is there any other smaller buildings? It's a fairly tall one. How about you go on this side of the river? Oh, perfect to squeeze in there. Lovely. Beautiful. Just right along the edge with Everything. Oh, that's that's stunning. Yeah, what are we gonna put in this bit behind? It's got that that big tower. It's slightly off to go there. Let's put him in, yeah, put him out here so then he can start bringing in the height from the back. I think that might be all the skyscraper. Whoa, we've got one last big one. He does not want to go anywhere. I don't know by placing all these big touristy buildings that if there's going to be a lot more tourists than um, actual people. That's a good place for this as well. No, I think we're done. That's all the skyscrapers left. Oh, wait, the custom packs. Oh, no, wait, there's still a little bit more. Okay, this is one of those long, thin ones that needs a road to come across, like that. And yes, let's use some of the tiny ones over here. Oh, this has fully piqued people's interest. This is going to be a, a very good place to be if you want to start a business. In fact, I'm going to save those for... Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yeah, we've still got those to place as well, so it's not like we're out of skyscrapers. And yeah, let's go. Let's bring in some actual, like, let's bring in some real estate. No, we probably shouldn't, but hey. No, actually, that's, that's got to be. There are big shopping centers there, though. There's a huge shopping center, Pine Carrying Wolf 1. So don't know if we have anything, is there anything a bit special? 
there's tons of people flocking to this area, which I'm now quite worried about, that this was going to be just a... Not this popular. <laughs> popular, but not this popular. <gasps> yes. Oh, we could put the classic down. That would be sick. The uh, expo center. Slightly too wide. If we push it off to the side. I mean, the expo center's got to go somewhere in the city. And if this is now the new business district, then that would make complete sense for the elites to show off their finer things in life. Nope, that's it. Okay, so we've got like level one down here, which is like uh, just financially operating, and then you've got like two because there's a bit more services and stuff. How are you, how are we doing for money, guys? Should we put tool? Let's put tool bank in just so it can go around and collect. Oh, d get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of town. That fits right perfectly in there. Loving this build already. Okay, now we have to think about how this is gonna. How did how did how do they not touch? Surely, if I don't get it, if they if they if they how does the power not cross? Is what I'm trying to say. How are we going to make it cross? Wind turbine that we can't place down? Nope. Okay, can these two at least? This is going to be a, probably another one for the next video. Oh, the thing is, these guys won't hang around unless the power somehow comes over. Oh, look, the power will jump over one of these little ones, but it does not want to jump over one of these big ones. Nope, okay. Oh, jeez, loads of people rushing in. Okay, so if we could just make it connect the power at the back just so we don't lose any businesses currently all right dun to dun this is such a long-winded way around for this canal to actually make sense hold on anyway i think i've lost the meaning of time at the moment because i am just gallivanting away i haven't made it easy on myself by uh Kind of increasing the distance there. But uh, hopefully when those come in. Oh look, there we go. Perfect. They're all hooked up. Everything is now hooked up. You're all good. I just didn't want them leaving and going somewhere really, really fast. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with that being there. No, I'm going to move that. An expo center that's on the outside, yes, that's what I want. That's how you get out of uh, cancel delay, uh, cancel maneuver. You just go like tap, tap, and boom. So here we go, we can bring this over here. Come on, you'll fit. Nice, okay, right. Now we're gonna change this layout slightly. I'm gonna come along the back side. We'll pop that open, come straight up. Oh no 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 no! Ooh. Why? Why does this? Why? Why does this happen now? Because that's off. Okay, right. Boom. Come back. Reset the node. And then that one could be off. Or even better. If none of that was off. And this way we could flip that round, and that can come to the back here. Come on. Then all the cars will have to come around here. Anyway, we can make that look super cool later on. And that just leaves this super cool area over here to jazz up and detail and do many, many fine things with by putting things down and in this area and just really jazzing it up, as they say.
There we go. I think we got a good blend going on. Yeah, before I get too carried away, I think we're going to end that one there. Maybe we could put something fairly old school in front of something. Something kind of ballsy at the front. There we go. That's just a uniqueness to it. And then, but uh, there we go. Perfect. I think that's a great start. I think we might sneak the electricity around the back here and then have it power through and then get rid of all the cables. But let's go into uh, summary mode. So as you can see, that was the well-anticipated financial pack DLC going on. And uh, we completely devastated it within, uh, well, 10 minutes, I think, just by being really corrupt and shady. And it's gonna be hilarious to watch other people be really corrupt and shady. Now I'm really loving this area, I'm loving how it's coming on. And I think when we put services and schools down and things like that, it's gonna get far, far better. But currently I'm just seeing the traffic pile up and I'm not liking it. So I'm gonna probably fix that during the break. And this is the first look at the Canary Wharf, Canary Wharf slash Isle of Dogs build. We're gonna bring in the residents down the bottom and yeah. It looks pretty good, I've got to say. Once these buildings rise up, they should look a bit better, to be fair. But they're just they're just like level one at the moment, I think. Yeah, le level one. They need things like fire and police. I don't think they have police. No, they don't. Oh, they do have police. They're not... They should have their own police force, though. What about healthcare? No one's actually sick in this area at nice schools and stuff, though they don't really care about that. But yeah, once they get all that and some services and buses down, they'll be high as these other buildings, I reckon. But yes, until then, I've been Badger the British. This has been Portsleydale, and this is the first look at the DLC with me. And this is how our Canary Wharf build is currently looking. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any thoughts, opinions, or like the look or need things to change or want things to change. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye and God bless. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. I've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.